it has a couple of subtleties in it. We'll focus on one of them. So nitrogen dioxide. What I can tell you here is that the nitrogen is between the two oxygens in this compound. One of the things we'll observe is that both of the bond lengths are exactly the same. Might be then that what we would imagine is that these bond lengths are in fact uh, just single bond lengths, but let's do the calculation again. The number of available electro electrons is 5 for the nitrogen plus 6 for each oxygen, so that's 17. The number that we need is 8 for the nitrogen plus 8 for each of the oxygens, so that's 24. So the number of shared electrons is 7. That's peculiar. We've never seen an odd number before. The number of bonds then needs to be 3 or maybe 4. So we have to figure out what we're going to do to draw this structure. Let's go with 3 at first. I need to add a second bond to one side or the other. Let's draw it on the left side just because it's closer to me right now. Then let's see, we've used up six of the electrons. There are 11 electrons more to go. We'll actually add four of them to that oxygen to complete its octet. We'll add six of them to this oxygen to complete its octet. And then we'll add one more to the nitrogen because that's all we have left to add. The nitrogen doesn't quite have its octet fulfilled, but that's a consequence of the fact that we have an odd number of electrons. The oxygens are both fine. This structure doesn't seem to be right because what we noted a little while ago is that both of the bond lengths are the same. We should have gotten the same number. We should have gotten bond lengths, which in fact exactly correspond to a single bond or a double bond, and not somewhere in between. But you can tell immediately where we're going with this. I made a random choice to put the double bond on the left. I could have made the random choice to put the double bond on the right. If I did, then I would wind up with a structure which looks like that. Once again, Neither one of these structures is, in fact, correct because both of them would predict, or either of them, rather, would predict that the bond lengths would be the different, not the same. So, if we make a comparison of the bond lengths to the actual bond lengths, we notice that the NO bond length is somewhere between single and double. And as a consequence, what we can say is that there must be a resonance hybrid. These are referred to as resonance structures. And the actual drawing should have a double bond delocalized across the molecule in such a way that we have the double bond delocalized to the two bond links come out to be the same and we have a structure that we will refer to as a resonance hybrid once again.